Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on logarithms. Now, this video is specially for my student, Gurmeen, who had trouble understanding logarithms. And now it is about natural logs. What is that all about? This is what we are going to understand with the help of few equations. Now, we have six of them. So this video is going to be fully loaded. We might take a few breaks to kind of complete it. So we'll also understand what are these natural logs and how to solve equations related to them. Now, you know logarithms. So if I write log of x, it means the base is 10, correct? It means the base is 10. So it is same as log to the base 10 of x. Now, normally we do not write the base 10. And on calculator, you will find this key, log of x. Now, natural log is also the same, similar. Natural log has a similar status. On your calculator, you will find ln, which is natural log. So, if I have logarithms to the base of e, then we call them as natural log, and they are written as ln x. So that is the correlation. So that means that if we have an equation which is, let us say, of the form ln x equals to some constant k, then x will be equal to what? e to the power of k. You get an idea. So this is the basic concept with which we are going to solve all these equations. So I hope the basic concept is clear. So let's move forward and take them one by one. The very first one here is ln square root of x plus 1 equals to 1. So let me rewrite this equation. ln square root of x plus 1 equals to 1. Now the restriction definitely is that x has to be greater than now this x could even be 0, so greater than or equal to 0. So that is the restriction. Now this is kind of important since some of the logarithmic equations may have extraneous roots. Now as I was saying, ln is to the base e. So writing this in exponential form will be square root of x plus 1 equals to e to the power of 1. Perfect. Which is e, right? So. So we could rearrange and write square root of x as equal to e minus 1. We want to know what x is. So x is definitely going to square of this, right? So e minus 1 whole square. And that gives you the answer, which is e square plus, oh, sorry, 2e. Let me write minus 2e first, and then I'll write plus 1. Now, since this is a square, x is always positive, right? Do you note that? So this simply means that it is always positive. So that becomes the solution of our first equation. Now let's take the next one. So it's not a very difficult topic. Do you see that? Slowly we'll do all these questions. Now here we have natural log x squared plus 12 equals to ln minus 9x minus 2. On the left side, no restrictions at all. But on the right side, let's work out the restrictions. We want to have minus 9x minus 2 to be greater than 0. So that means minus 9x should be greater than 2. Or, now when you divide by a negative number, this sign changes, right? So that changes, right? Minus 2 over 9. Perfect. So that is the restriction. So when we get our answer, we have to check that it is within this domain. So let's try to solve it now. So when we have something like, uh, let me write natural log, ln x squared plus 12 equals to ln minus 9x minus 2. Now these two arguments, both should be same. It is important to note that natural log is always increasing correct so, so so the kind of function which we are talking about is is 
always increasing. So in these functions, a particular value has to be same, right? So, so from here, we can write that x squared plus 12 should be equal to minus 9x minus 2. Bringing them together, we get quadratic equation x squared plus 9x plus 12 plus 2 equals to 0, uh, which is x squared plus 9x plus 14 equals to 0. 7 times 2 is 14, so we could write this as factored form x plus 7 times x plus 2 equals to 0. So that means x equals to minus 7 and x equals to minus 2 are our solutions, right? So these are the roots of the equation. Both of them are less than minus 2 over 9. So that becomes the correct solution for the given equation, right? So I hope you've got some concepts now. Let's take a break, natural law. Let me go for a walk in the nature and see what we find. Well, today is not a good weather. We have light snow. Light snow. I hope you enjoyed the natural logs full of life right even in spite of snow there was a lot of wildlife and was great to watch the cardinal now let's continue with solution of our equations the question here is ln minus 3x minus 1 minus ln 7 equals to 2 now in natural logs also you apply the same laws of logarithms that is to say when there is minus we could divide them so i could rewrite this equation as ln minus 3x minus 1 divided by 7 right so that becomes the left side equals to 2 as you know natural log is to the base e and therefore now we could write this in exponential form minus 3x minus 1 over 7 equals to e square now, as a question of rearranging and getting the answer, we get minus 3x minus 1 equals to 7 times e square minus 3x equals to 7 times e square plus 1 or x is equals to 7 times e square plus 1 divided by minus 3. Now, this is the exact answer which, uh, which is perfectly fine to write. But since this is one of our very important videos, let's really find the value of this, right? So let's use the calculator to figure out what the answer is. So approximately, x is equals to 7 times e square plus 1. And then we'll divide by minus 3. So I'm dividing by 3, write the answer as negative, equals to minus 17.574 so what we get here is x equals to minus 17.5744 right so kind of like this so it's a negative value now let's also check whether it satisfies our condition or not so we have minus 3x minus 1 that should be greater than 0 or minus 3x should be greater than 1 or x should be greater than uh, since this is a negative sign so we have to reverse this right so x should be less than minus 1 over 3 now this value definitely is less than so our solution x equals 2 let me rewrite so x equals to minus 17.57 is the correct solution now, what I would like you to do is also verify using your calculator. So, you can substitute this value 
in the equation and then check for yourself if it works out fine. Right? So leave that exercise for you to do. So let's continue and take up the next question now. We need to solve ln x minus 3 minus ln x minus 5 equals to ln 5. Now ln 5 is a constant, right? So let's work on this side first. We Let me rewrite the equation. ln x minus 3 minus ln x minus 5 equals to ln 5. So left side could be written as ln x minus 3 over x minus 5 equals to ln 5. Now, we could equate x minus 3 over x minus 5 with 5. Correct? And now we can solve for x. So we get x minus 3 equals to 5 times x minus 5 or x minus 3 equals to 5x minus 25. Uh, bringing them together, 0 equals to 5x minus 25 minus x plus 3. Okay, so I could have brought just the constants on the other side. So we have uh, 5x minus x is 4x, and here we have minus 22. Okay, let's take it to the right side and find the solution. Okay. So that gives us, this is 0, so that gives us 4x as equal to 22, or x is equal to 22 over 4, or uh, you can say 5.5, correct? So we have x equals to 5.5. As far as the domain is concerned, let's check that domain also. Now this should be positive, so x has to be greater than 5, so this works for us. So that is a perfect solution. You can, however, uh, check it with the calculator. Now, only two more questions to go. So we are almost at the end. We have ln 4x plus 1 minus ln 3 equals to 5. Okay. So applying the logarithmic laws, we get ln 4x plus 1 over 3 equals to 5. Now ln is to the base e. Remember that, right? So we have 4x plus 1 over 3 equals to e to the power of 5. Now multiply by 3, so we get 4x plus 1 equals to 3 times e to the power of 5, 4x equals to 3 times e to the power of 5 minus 1, and x is equals to 3 times e to the power of 5 minus 1 over 4, correct? So this is the exact solution for the given equation. Uh, now, you could actually... Uh, calculate the value using the calculator and write down a decimal value if required right so so in that case the solution will be 3 times e to the power of 5 okay minus 1 equals to divide by 4 is equal to 111.05 okay so what i get here is uh, x equals to 111.05. Now, 111.05 is definitely a positive value which can work in our domain, right? So, so that is perfectly fine. Let's continue. And here, we are almost at the end. We need to solve ln x squared minus 3 equals to ln 2 plus ln x. Now, let's first find the domain of this particular function and then we are going to continue with it. So to find domain, uh, I prefer to sketch and then figure it out rather than working with inequalities. x squared minus 3 should be positive. So that's a parabola, kind of like this, whose zeros will be at minus square root 3 and plus square root 3, correct? So we are looking for a domain which is, which is on the left side of minus 3 or the right side of square root of 3, right? So that is the domain for that part. Now, uh, let's look into ln x. So ln x means that we are looking for x greater than 0. So the common domain between the two definitely is that x should be greater than square root 3, correct? So all the roots which are greater than 
square root 3 will be valid, the other will be extraneous root. Correct? Now let's see how to solve it. You can actually now pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. Since we have already done a couple of examples relating natural logs, right? So let me rewrite this equation ln x square minus 3 equals to ln 2 plus ln x. We'll bring ln x to the left side, so we get ln x square minus 3 minus ln x equals to ln 2. ln 2 is a constant. Now, applying the logarithmic laws, we get x square minus 3 divided by x equals to ln 2. Now, that means that x square minus 3 divided by x should be equal to 2. Cross multiply, so we get x square minus 3 equals to 2x. Bring them together, x square minus 2x minus 3 equals to 0, and factor. So 3 times 1, 3 negative, and 1 positive equals to 0. So that gives you two solutions. Perfect. What are the solutions? One of them is... So we have two factors, x minus 3 times x plus 1 equals to 0. That means x equals to 3, and this means x equals to minus 1. So the only valid solution is x equals to 3. So that becomes the solution, and this is extraneous root. Perfect. So that is how we can actually solve equations relating to natural logs. So with this, we come to an end of this video, and I hope you have understood how to solve equations relating to natural log. Remember, these are logarithms to the base e, and all the rules which are followed by the logs are followed by natural logs also. And as you have seen, we could have extraneous roots in solving such equations. And therefore, it is important to check the result, especially with the domain of the function. I hope you enjoyed the whole journey of learning how to solve natural logarithmic equations and also the outdoors. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.